I'd like to call to order the Hatfield Township Board of Commissioners <clears throat> workshop meeting for October 9, 2019. Roll call. President Zipfel. Here. Vice President <coughs> Hughes. Here. Commissioner Andrus. Here. Commissioner Rogers. Here. Commissioner Thomas. Here. I'd like to ask uh, Commissioner Jerry Andrus to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance this year. All right, is there a, uh, is there a motion for uh, approval of tonight's agenda? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Rogers, second by Commissioner Thomas. Um, all in favor of approving tonight's agenda say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, our agenda is approved. Um, citizens' comments. Citizens' comments on agenda items at this point in the meeting. Anyone? All right, seeing none, we're going to move on to our consent items. Is there a motion to move into the record the consent items listed on your agenda? So moved. Motion by Vice President Hughes, second by Commissioner Rogers. Uh, those items include the police report for the month of September 2019, the HTMA meeting minutes of August 13, 2019, the Park and Recreation Board meeting minutes of August 5, 2019, and the North Penn Water Authority meeting minutes of August 27, 2019. With that, I'll call the question. All in favor of moving those into the record, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is, those are approved and moved into the record. Um, we have a relatively brief meeting tonight, I think, but uh, we have a number of committee reports uh, to, uh, or items to report out, report out on. First one is Planning and Zoning Committee, Commissioner Rogers. Thank you. Um, the first item is uh, 1608 to 1610 Line Street Subdivision. Extreme. I think the agenda just got a little bit shorter. Uh, the applicant had contacted us late yesterday and asked to be uh, tabled this evening, and they would like to be able to come back on the November workshop. Without objection from any of the other commissioners, we will move them to the next to that meeting. Okay, the second item is the Clemens Food Group, land development. Yes, the Clements Food Group um, has gone through the land development process through the Planning Commission and the staff and the committee level. There is a map on the screen which shows the location of the property and here's a blow up of the township parcel map that shows the approximate location of the building. This is a parcel that sits at the corner of Clemens Road and Durstein Road, the bed of, of the uh, old Funks Road which was abandoned. Um, and turned into a private road many years ago uh, lies just here where I'm indicating. The, um, the plan on the screen shows the overall site. It's approximately 32 acres. The building itself is, a, is about 308,000 square feet. And there are, um, I believe, about 400 parking spaces associated with the property. Um, here you can see an elevation of the proposed building, and I believe we have another elevation of the building showing the entrance. Um, the, the intent is to move the existing smoking operations out of the current facility and locate them in this new building. The, um, the area where the current smoking operations are, are currently taking place will just remain vacant for the time being. There is no uh, other use proposed for that space at this point. Uh, so the intent is to, is to modernize the facility or modernize the operation by putting it in a new facility and building the facility in this location. At this point, the plans have been reviewed and recommended for approval by the Township Planning Commission and the County Planning Commission. They've been reviewed by the Planning Committee. There was one minor variance that was granted by the Zoning Hearing Board approximately a month ago, and that was for about six feet of additional height that are necessary for the building in its current configuration. Um, Brian Moyer is here from the Clemens Food Group, um, along with representatives from Gray Construction, who is uh, doing all the site planning and will handle the, uh, the engineering for the site. So if the board has any questions or if they have anything else that they think is important for the board to know, I mean, this would be the time. Just, just add, just a 
Brian, could you go to the, could you go to the microphone if you don't mind, or else no one, no one will hear you. No problem. Yeah, so I'm Brian Moyer uh, with Clemens Food Group, and I lead our growth and capital projects uh, team, and I'll be the project manager from Clemens on this. Uh, with me tonight, I have Zach Bex, uh, who's the uh, design manager on this project for Gray, and Jeff Scott, who is uh, the project manager, and he'll be a Hatfield resident for about a year and a half once this starts. Um, it's a smoke meats facility. Um, we currently, you know, smoked meats would cover the whole gamut of everything you can do with a ham, from dicing to sliced lunch meat to ham steaks to what you'd serve at Christmas and everything in between. Um, currently, we do all those things in the main facility in smoke houses that are 30 to 40 years old plus. Uh, they're worn out and tired, and uh, we either need to build a new facility. We can't renovate in place. We'd be out of business, um, and we need to build a new facility to to continue in that business and bring us up to the to state of the art food safety. And I'll say that uh, I would proudly say we hope to build the best smoked meats plant in the US. Um, so that's just a little more color of what's gonna happen. Uh, Ken hit the highlights of the size and the location, anything else? A Couple of quick questions. How would it be, I wasn't sure, how would it be oriented? Can maybe Ken, if you wanna go back or somebody can go back to the, yeah, to the design. So the, what you saw, the facade of the building, uh, the, or the face of the office, will be feeding, uh, facing Clemens Road. Right. Right there, yeah. So um, I'm just trying to figure out how, I see where it is. I wasn't sure how close, how far down or off of 40 foot it was going to be. Uh, 40, it, we're really on nowhere. The side oh, it's on the other side, the other side, yeah. I mean, it's on the other, down, it's on the, it's across the street then from the, a good reference firehouse. would be it's it's where Clark's landscaping is currently across located. the street from the firehouse. Okay, right. I was that's confusing right. it for with the other corner, and that's where right. I was, the, I was confused. The firehouse is right here, Fairgrounds Road, and then the then the existing facility, and what would happen with the existing facility? So the the existing facility is a is a harvest plant where we harvest. Uh, uh, about 10,500 hogs a day and have fresh pork. That's, none of that is changing. Um, we also do a lot of further processing or you know, bacon and sausage and everything else other than kind of smoked meats. All of that is still gonna happen in the existing facility. We're gonna vacate the area where the smoked meats is, uh, where, these, where these processes are made. And, and at this point, there's no plans for that. Um, just planning on moving out and into the new facility. Questions or comments at this point? And we would move that to our next meeting for consideration? Yes, we would have our, our solicitor will prepare a resolution for your consideration in two weeks. All right. Thank you for coming out. All right. Thank we'll you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. All right. Third item is 2616 Penn Street subdivision. Yes, this is a small subdivision that sits right on the border of Hatfield Township and Hatfield Borough on Penn Street. Um, you can see right here, it just, it's just right on the border of the borough on Penn Street. And the, the uh, property currently consists of three lots, two have homes on them and one is vacant. Um, there's a home on this lot, there's a home on this lot, and this portion is vacant. The proposal is, is simply to take these three lots and reconfigure them so that the lot that straddles the line between the borough and the township will now be located entirely within the borough. So that lot will, will shift and will be entirely within the borough. There will then be a, um, a deeded access from Penn Street back to the vacant lot. and the other home will occupy the rest of the space. So really it's being done to clean up an existing situation. There is no new construction being planned and uh, both the uh, local planning commission and the county planning commission felt that it was a, a, a huge improvement over what currently exists out there. It's an oddly configured parcel with some old rights of way and some old alleys which will be straightened out as a result of this subdivision. So when we're at the end of the day, we'll still have two homes on, on separate lots and one vacant building lot, but they'll be configured in a way that makes a lot more sense than they do today. Plan for that vacant lot? After? Uh, 
My understanding is the family will offer it for sale, but other than that, I don't know. It will be a conforming building lot. It's already conforming, isn't it? It's just it doesn't really have good access? It doesn't have good access. That's, that's the portion that's not conforming right. at this point because it doesn't have a deeded access out to a public street. Right. Any other questions or comments? All right. If not, then we would move this one to our next meeting as well, Ken. Once again, the solicitor will prepare a resolution for you to consider in two weeks. Yes. Sounds good. That's all I have tonight. All right. Um, Public Works Committee, Vice President Hughes. Uh, the leaf pickup schedule is for the weeks of November 4th, November 18th, and December 2nd. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to make a motion that we award that contract to Republic Services for $14,162. Um, and then that would be at the vote on that tonight. Yep. So is the uh, motion by Vice President Hughes. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Andrus. Um, and this is uh, with regard to what uh, Vice President Hughes just mentioned. That's the motion specifically uh, for the awarding of that contract. Any questions, concerns, or comments? No. Nope. Hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that motion is approved. Commissioner, just one note. That price is the exact same as last year's program. No increase in cost at all. Good. Else under Public Works? No, I'm Nothing sorry. Else? No. Okay, uh, Parks and Recreation Committee, Commissioner Thomas. Yep. Yeah. So on Saturday, October 5th, Hatfield Township hosted its annual Octo Half Marathon and Rocktoberfest events. The day kicked off with about 150 runners participating in the race, and through local roads, parks, and trails, they completed 13.1 miles. This was followed up with our Rocktoberfest event at School Road Park. We had over 50 vendors, which was pretty uh, phenomenal this year. They were present with crafts, activities, and lots of information. The children and family section was buzzing with a variety of games, face painting, a caricaturist, pumpkin decorating, mini golf, and moon bounces. Tasty food was provided by Vinnie's Pizzerama and local Boy Scout Troop 51. The car show was filled with classics and antiques with five major prizes awarded at the end of the event. And live music by the band Coast to Coast completed the high energy atmosphere of the fall event. And I think everyone really loved Coast to Coast, so we may look at bringing them back for other events. Um, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Ashley Brody because um, she just does an incredible job with this event. And since we combined both the Octo Half Marathon and Rocktoberfest on the same day, um, it just it all went off without a hitch. Um, I'd like to thank all of the runners, the vendors, the amazing volunteers that we had out there, Bob and Tina, <laughs> and the sponsors who made this event possible. A huge thank you to the Hatfield Public Works Department, Hatfield Parks and Rec Department and Board, and the Hatfield Police Department for their time, coordination, and work on this great community event. So now I will move into my other stuff. So the Hatfield golf outing um, takes place on Monday, October 14th, and this is our 20th annual golf outing event. You can contact the township for more information at 215-855-0900. The American Girl Tea and History, it's an afternoon of tea with your doll and friends. It's a three-part series with each tea party featuring a new American Girl character. There will be themed snacks, and for more information, you can visit the uh, website at hatfield.org. The series dates are Sunday, September 22nd, so that one's already passed, Sunday, October 27th, and Sunday, October 10th. And they run from 1.30 p.m. to 2.30. They're here in the community room. They're $15 per child per session, and there is no fee for an accompanying adult. We've also got Mini Monster Mania coming up. So if you join us for an evening of Halloween fun for all ages, enjoy a fun-filled night of games, crafts, snacks, prizes, and trick-or-treating. That takes place Wednesday, October 30th from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Again, that'll be here in the Township Administration Building. You must be pre-registered for this event. It's $5 per child. And again, you can um, register at HatfieldRec.com. 
We also have the American Red Cross babysitting course. That's Saturday, November 9th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's for ages 11 to 15. The fee is $60. It includes all course materials, and it will be here in the administration building in the community room. And registration for that is also at HatfieldRec.com. So our Giving Tree program is coming back again this year. You can visit the Township Administration Building to select an ornament from the tree. Each ornament contains a gift request from a local family in need. Then we ask that you return all the gifts new and unwrapped to the Township Building between November 13th and December 13th. And we have a bus trip coming up. So if you're looking for a great holiday gift for a loved one, Hatfield partners with Upper Gwinnett Township for bus trips to various shows, sporting events, and more. The upcoming trip that we have is Christmas Spectacular, the Radio City Rockettes. That will be Thursday, December 5th in New York City. It's $140 per person for orchestra seating. It includes the bus transportation and the show ticket. You can register for that at HatfieldRec.com. And last but not least, we have discount ski tickets. So throughout the late fall and through the winter season, we offer discount ski tickets to area ski resorts. You can purchase these tickets at the Hatfield Township Administrative Building during normal business hours. And if you would like a list of the ski resorts, you can go to the um, Township website to find those. The tickets will be available soon, but payment must be made in cash or check only. And that's all I have. All right, uh, I'm going to jump into Public Safety Committee. We have a number of announcements, mostly dealing with Chief Tierney, so this is this should be a lot of fun. <laughs> How'd that happen? Well, on September 24th, Chief Tierney joined other chiefs and hospital personnel to discuss the development of a sexual assault forensic exam center in Montgomery County, and there are many different stakeholders present for the discussion, and the next step that they've chosen to pursue is to form subcommittees to discuss a plan to move forward to better serve these victims in, in our area. Um, also, uh, Chief Tierney on September 25th, very next day, uh, he and other uh, chiefs met with representatives of the AMBLA branch of the NC NAACP. The discussion was about hiring practices and how we can be more inclusive with all of our communities within the county. These discussions are vital and as we all know, they will be ongoing. The branch members and the chiefs are all, all understand the benefits of these discussions. Um, we all know that uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month uh, is, is upon us. And all Hatfield officers have donned pink badges for the month, as they did last year. The badges bring out awareness, uh, identify awareness in conversation with our residents. And the police department has pay obtained pink police patch challenge coins. Is that right? There they are. I, I should have known that there was going to be a slide. Uh, they'll be sold during the month of October, and then a donation will be made to a worthy cause for the cure. The cost of the coins will be $10 each, and they'll be available during regular business hours at the police building. Thank you in advance for everyone's support, um, and uh, we hope that everyone considers uh, making a purchase of, of the coin. October 26th is National Drug Take Back Day. So from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., uh, people are welcome to drop off any unwanted or expired medications here in the lobby of the administration building. Also on the same day, on October 26th, officers will be taking part in the, am I have this right, Chief, Trunk or Treat? It's the Trunk or Treat event, which will be held at the VMS, VMSC, located at 100 Medical Campus Drive. There'll be candy for the kids, decorations, and giveaways for all. The event will take place from 12 to 3 p.m. And last but not least, an update on the Do Not Knock list. Pro approximately 600 households, Hatfield households, have already signed up and the list is growing weekly. So, um, nothing else from public safety. I'm going to move to uh, Finance Committee, Commissioner Andrews. Yes, just a reminder that uh, next week, right, the goals and uh, budget meeting will uh, start at 6 p.m. So residents who want to have input or see what we're planning to do for 2020, please uh, come. All right. If there's nothing else under finance, then we're going to move to the staff report. Um, Aaron, I think there you have a Liberty Bell <coughs> issue or uh, announcement. Sir, thanks, Mr. President. Thanks to Ray Masser in the audience. I'm now an expert on the, the Liberty Bell Trail. I spend most of my evenings reading this fine book. Thanks to Ray. Uh, just, 
a lot of pictures. Uh, just wanted to give the commissioners a heads up. Uh, the Liberty Bell Trail has, has been discussed uh, for quite some time, and it's considered by the county and by Delaware Valley Regional Planning Commission as a uh, regionally significant trail. And there's a lot of people that are pushing f to see uh, at least feasibility studies performed uh, to plan the route of the trail. So recently, Hatfield has met with Upper Gwented, Franconia, Hatfield Borough, and Lansdale, and we've come up with a plan spearheaded by PEC, which is the Pennsylvania Environmental Council. PEC has agreed to use its staff without a fee to the, any of the towns to apply for a grant for a feasibility study. So we're, in, in two weeks, there'll be a resolution for the board to consider. And what uh, you're simply committing to is applying for grant funding as an intermunicipal application with all the towns that I just mentioned, with PEC completing the application on, on our behalf without any cost. Um, and if awarded, then uh, the, the, the specifics of the application, I do believe uh, we're applying for roughly $200,000 to help plan the route of the Liberty Bell Trail through all of those towns. So just a feasibility study. The local share then would be, um, it would be contributed by all the towns evenly, unless there's a, a reason why it won't be an even split, but it'll be a share among all the towns, uh, which we'll, we'll determine once the award is set. And then at that point, hopefully we can start chipping away at, at building this trail. The Liberty Bell Trail route from Norristown all the way to Allentown, I do believe, of that trail, there's only a half a mile built, and that's that half mile in Hatfield Borough. It's the only town that has actually completed any portion of this trail. So all the other towns are trying to catch up, and uh, we just got to figure out where to put it, and uh, hopefully this study will get us there, and then all of us as a region, the towns will then, the plan is to apply for funding then to build the trail and share the cost on the local match so it's a, it's a good it's a great um it's a great example of of towns coming together to try to build a a, a needed and uh, an interesting public improvement that we think the people in in the area will, will use so that'll be coming your way commissioners in two weeks uh, resolution again just to apply without any commitment to a cost at this point right anything else oh mr president okay solicitor's report nothing to report tonight Right, it's good to hear from our solicitor. Citizens' comments. Any citizens' comments on agenda items? Or, or even non-agenda items? Uh, my name's Tony Fica. I live on uh, Needham Circle. And I just want to bring up the concern of parking uh, on Needham Circle. Uh, there's not enough parking in the driveway for, for people living in on Needham Circle. So they're parking on the, uh, in the street and at the top of the horseshoes, especially on weekends or sometimes after five o'clock, there's, there's parking on both sides of the street so that only one car can get through. So uh, I, I believe that that's a safety hazard. So I was hoping uh, the commissioners or the township would possibly uh, entertain the possibility of limiting parking to only one side of the street or Needham Circle. I, uh, I spoke to the um, uh, admin over here and she suggested I email, I believe one of your, the code enforcement, excuse me, person uh, in Hatfield Township. And he suggested that I come here to the meeting and voice my concerns. No, that's great. We encourage that. Thank you for coming out. If we, if we don't have residents to come out and do exactly that, we don't, we don't know about the concerns. Okay. So thank you. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll look into that and uh, we've got your information. We'll get your information afterwards and uh, follow up with you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. All right. Any other citizens comments? No, no citizens comments. Before uh, we adjourn, I need to announce that uh, the board is going into an executive session to discuss personnel. And with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion by Vice President Hughes. Second. Second by Commissioner Andrews. Uh, all in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, uh, no objection. We are adjourned. Thanks for coming out, folks.